What's up guys, Chem Fitness Professional, this is John, and I was just reading a book called The Book of Freedom by Paul Selig, and a really interesting analogy was used about creating conscious change within your environment. He used the example that when you go to a restaurant, the menu will stay the same until enough people complain about what's being served. Now, if they don't actually express how they feel, they just go and eat the food and leave, but never mention the dissatisfaction, then no change will actually be made. And if only one or two people stand up and complain and ask for change or a new food item on the menu, then there probably won't be change, right? But if enough people get together and are open and honest and communicate that they're not happy with the way the food tastes, then the business will most likely have to create a new menu or serve additional options to appease their customers or they'll lose business, right? What happens if you're not satisfied? You eventually stop going and the business will get shut down. So this is a great analogy about conscious choice of where you spend your time, attention, and your money. Because if you just mindlessly keep voting with your dollar, if you keep giving your money to people and things that don't serve you individually and don't serve humanity collectively, and they're not contributing to making the planet a better place, or worse off, they're actually creating a detrimental impact to the environment, then what's the point? Like, If you're not aware of what you're doing with that time and, and your money, then you're never going to get a different menu. If you don't stand up and speak your truth, you're never going to see change in this world. We, the people, have to stand together and use our voice to say, hey, I'm not okay with the way things are going. I want to see change. And to see the change, you have to be the change. You have to stop supporting those companies. You have to stop attending those events do something else that's gonna benefit your overall well-being more anyway it's the idea of education versus entertainment there's a time and a place for both but we have clearly overemphasized entertainment over education or development in general or well-being in general Stop giving your time and attention and money to things that don't serve you, that don't serve others around you, and that don't serve the planet. Because this is the only body, this is the only planet we got right now, guys. So, vote with your dollar. Vote with your actions. Vote with your voice. Vote with your attention. Where your attention goes, re results will flow. So stand up, speak your truth, stand together. We don't have to continue to repeat the same actions and create the same reality. We can choose at any point in time to live a new, better, healthier, for everybody included, reality. So make the choice. But first you have to become aware of what choices you're currently making. Take a moment, stop right now. What did you do today? Did it benefit you in the long term? Did you serve somebody else? Did you contribute to making someone else's life better? Did you help to restore or prevent the decay of the planet? What are you doing with your attention? What are you doing with your time? And then start to think about what you would ideally do with your attention and your time. What decisions can you make today, right now, that will shift in the long term 
your individual reality. And then collectively, if we all start to do that, we will truly change this planet. Simply by being aware of what we're doing now, expressing what we wanna do in the future, and then leading by example, using our actions as our voice. Be aware, stand up, speak your truth, vote with your dollar. We got this guys, let's change the planet baby. Woo.